Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's Get Ready With Me, I'm thinking country girl, farm girl, youthful makeup. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call this makeup look, but it is going to be a natural look today, so let's get started. Since it's a natural look, I'm going to be using a tinted moisturizer. <laughs> I'm using my finger to distribute the product and I'm using my beauty blender to blend everything out. For some reason today, all I could think about is like farm girl, countryside girl. I want a little bit more coverage, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer. It is also very, very hot today, so I don't even wanna wear that much makeup. And I, and I think that's why I wanna go for like a natural look today. Now I'm just going to contour my face not a lot just a little bit I'm just doing a little bit of everything a little bit of contour to enhance my cheekbones my jawline although I like the dewiness I'm going to set my face just a little bit next I'm just going to contour a little bit more around my nose I just really want to sculpt my nose and give that cute button nose next I'm taking this dusty rose color and I am just going to apply this all over my eyelids. I think that's all the shadow that I'm going to apply right now. Um, I'm gonna take this nude color, apply it right here. Like that. I don't do this, but I'm experimenting today. Now I'm gonna take a black liner and line my eyes. Now I'm taking a black shadow on my liner brush and I'm just going to line my eyes closely to my lash line and then I'm going to draw a tiny wing. So as you could see, I drew just a tiny wing. So yesterday I went to Target and I got some new makeup. For example, like I got the two liners and I also got a liquid liner. If you watched my video, you know that I've been using the ColourPop pen liner and that's just been really bad and horrible. So I got this one. This one's by NYX. I usually use the pen liner, but this time I wanted to use something like this. I haven't used a liner like this in like 20 years. I think the last time I used it was when I was in high school. And then pen liners came and everybody just started using it. I'm going to try this and see how it works. Hopefully it works out because I like that I could go in to grab more products. I have control over the product. Whereas like the pen liner, I have to like shake it. Like I don't have control of amount of products that I could get. Let's see how this goes. Okay, okay, okay. I think I need time to get used to it, but that was a lot easier than I thought. And the liner is so black. Wow. Wow, okay, not bad. I definitely do need time to get used to it and play around with it, but I like it. I like that I could control the amount of product I'm using. I like that it's a brush. I like that it doesn't dry out. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. Maybe this get ready with me will be me trying new makeup products that I bought. Okay, well in that case, let me quickly share these two products with you. This is by Essence. They're a very affordable um, makeup brand, but I am very surprised by how well they work. This is the black liner. Look how creamy it is and how black. So creamy. This one's called Black Love. This one is called Silky Nude. All the products are so, so creamy. And these are waterproof and 16 hour wear. And then the eyeliner is by NYX. It is called Epic Wear, a waterproof liner. There was this liner and another liner that's like matte 
and I think that was a new product because it had so many different colors but I decided to go with this one because it says waterproof the other eyeliner didn't state that it was waterproof and I need waterproof makeup so I got this one I think this is all I'm going to do with my eyes I'm going to curl my lashes now so I could apply mascara I also got a new mascara so I will show you that as well so pretty much yesterday I'm kind of like upgrading all my products like I had my mascara for more than like a year I'm so ashamed to say it but I know you're supposed to replace your mascara every three months but I've been using mine for almost a year not over a year but almost a year I guess it's good because that means you know there's a lot of product in there for me to use for, for almost a year but it's not good for my eyes I know so since I have to replace my mascara every three months I just got a drugstore one this is the telescopic lift by L'Oreal I know this was very popular on TikTok so I decided to give it a try I'm waiting for Sephora to release they're the mini mascara samples that they have I think it comes out during Christmas time I feel like the mini ones can last me three months so I'm kind of waiting for that to come out so I could get it here's the mascara and it is obviously waterproof I'm hoping that the wand isn't too big for my lashes okay it, it's a little big bottom is like really flat and then the top has the silicone brushes Not bad, kind of clumpy. Probably clumpy because it's new. This is how it looks. This is how it looks on my bottom lashes. Also, oh my goodness, California is so dry. Why is this state so freaking dry? I'm gonna keep referring to my old videos because I did mention it. But like, I don't know. I hate when I say that, like, oh, like if you watch my last video. Um, but anyway, so in my last video, I stated how I had a lot of um, dead skin cells here So I exfoliated my skin. That's why I share the whole eight-step skincare routine with you I thought exfoliating my skin is gonna remove all the dead skin cells and it did But I still have all these dry patches and I realized I have these dry patches is because California is so dry it is literally sucking all the moisture out of my skin and that's why even though I apply like a tinted moisturizer or whatever my skin is still very very dry it is still very flaky it is still patchy I don't know if you can see that like right here it is so patchy I think I need to start like putting some kind of like balm maybe even like Vaseline on my skin like after I do my whole skincare routine I should seal everything in with Vaseline or something if you're ever thinking about coming to California in the summertime I guess in the winter time too it's very drying so pack the most moisturizing moisturizer you have or else you will pay for it <laughs> or else your skin will pay for it because it's very dry here I'm gonna do my brows now I did get a new brow gel it's been everywhere on social media and TikTok like I always see this product on social media and I'm a person that gets easily influenced like I just need one person to tell me something and then I'll just like get it or do it so for example like the other day I went to the cheesecake factory which by the way why are there so many stuff on the menu like why are there 250 items so I was sitting at the restaurant for like good 10 minutes trying to figure out what I'm going to eat like the waiter came to us like three times asking like are you guys ready are you guys ready are you guys ready and we're like no we're not ready i'm pretty much reading a freaking novel here so i was like no i can't do this anymore so i just went on google and i typed best thing to eat at the cheesecake factory and they told me to get this like jambalaya i just needed to read one article that said this jambalaya pasta is delicious so I got it but that is how easily I get influenced I just need one person to tell me oh hey this is good and I'll just get it or do it anyway so the product is the brow glue by NYX this is literally trending everywhere and I needed to try it my brow gel is very very old I'm slowly trying to upgrade all my makeup because when I was in Korea I mostly bought cushion foundation because like I was collecting them sometimes I would spend like $150 on a cushion which I know is ridiculous 
but I just wanted it. I wanted to collect it. I wanted to try it. I wouldn't buy like a mascara or a brow gel because I spent $150 on a cushion foundation. But in America, there's no cushion foundation, so I could buy like other makeup products. Um, this is how it looks like. Why is this so freaking cute? It's tiny. This is the spoolie. I got the color dark brown. Ooh, okay. I guess I have to see if it if it will last all day. But so far, it's nice. It's not sticky. It doesn't feel like hard on my brows. Let's quickly apply blush and highlight. I really wanted to do like a natural country farm girl look today. But I guess today is just a basic makeup day. I don't know what it is today, but I'm just not feeling it. Like I'm just not. I don't want to say I'm not in a good mood. I am just not myself today. I did like a wing liner with red lips on my... Instagram reels and I liked it. I kind of like I like the red lip So I'm gonna do that again since I'm wearing eyeliner just using like a red tint not a red lipstick. Ooh So red. Hmm. I should do like a Christmas look because this lip color is like Screaming Christmas. I'm going to quickly apply my lashes and my contacts and I'll be right back. Alright, All right, so this is my final look I am not loving it, but I guess it's not too bad I'll keep it. Maybe throughout the day I'll like it. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. Please like this video and comment what you do when you're not feeling yourself. Like, what do you do to get you back in the groove, you know? Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!